Welcome to Reef and Pondwise, another absolutely gorgeous afternoon in the hobby. Here we talk all about reef and pond related stuff, so if you love reef keeping and pond keeping like I do, hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. In this video, we're going to boost up our beneficial bacteria. Now, beneficial bacteria for ponds is vitally important for the closed ecosystem. And the reason why is because it helps break down all of the organic matter and some of the debris that would get into your pond. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to walk over here and show you guys a couple of things um, that we look for this time of the year. And the reason that we're looking for this kind of stuff is twofold. First, these plants as they grow, these oxygenating plants like the hyacinth and the water lettuce, they'll start to expand and they'll get rid of some of the older leaves that are on the plants and then they end up floating in the pond. Well, the beneficial bacteria will help break that stuff down. But the most important thing is this time of the year is critical for koi growth. So we feed our fish now three times a day religiously. And what happens when you increase your feeding? You increase your pooping. That's right, folks. So the koi will end up uh, you know pooping more because they're eating more and you have to beneficial bacteria your pond and add a, an additional dosage to help keep your water clear to help the ecosystem stay balanced and so i'm going to show you how we do that in just a second but as you can see here the fish look really good um the things that i wanted to point out here real quick for you guys is this plant debris this is kind of what you want to look for so if I move these plants aside with my skimmer, you can see the little pieces of the plant that have started to die off. Well, here's a great example here. This leaf. See that leaf? That leaf is turning brown, that color, because the beneficial bacteria is already starting to do its job and prevent that leaf from becoming a problem. Now, leaves in a pond, guys, can cause all kinds of different havoc, uh, one of which is the tannic acids and the tannins that leaves give off, but I'll save that for another video. But because we're going to be increasing the dosage of beneficial bacteria, that's not a real issue, and that's the reason why, is because this beneficial bacteria will attack these plants and actually uh, help with getting some of this debris, like that leaf again right there, um, out of this water. And beneficial bacteria will compete for the nutrients in the pond, keeping the ecosystem balanced. I'm going to show you what I do in order to keep everything balanced in my pond. And it's relatively a simple process. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a dose and a half now of my normal beneficial bacteria. Oh, there goes my skimmer. Yay. All right. Try to put it up against the wall here and it fell down. So we'll put it right back up there. Comes along with the territory. No biggie. So what we're going to do is come back to the little mixing station here. And what here, before I do that, guys, let me show you how crystal clear this water really is. I'm going to grab some water here right onto the pond we'll take it back I'm going to show you in a glass how crystal clear this water is now for the next 30 to 45 days I'll be feeding three times a day due to the uh, the growth spurts and the natural progression of fish growing and you can see through that glass how clear the water is so I've already got a couple of different containers here. These are standard 16 ounce cups and I'll mix up the beneficial bacteria. One will go in today, which is Saturday, and the other one will go in on Wednesday. And I'm not going to do anything more than a half a dose. Um, what I'd normally do is add on the weekend uh, six cupfuls of this beneficial bacteria by Aquascape and it's a concentrated form. I like using concentrate because I don't have to think about it as hard and 
you can see that this will treat an upwards of 104,000 gallons of pond water. So we got plenty here to last us quite a long time. And in one of these, I'm going to put six scoops in. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then on this one that I'll save until Wednesday is going to get three. And then these are just full scoops of the beneficial bacteria. Now each one of these scoops will treat up to 1,300 gallons of pond water. And my pond is 7,500 gallons. So we're going to be in great shape in terms of a moderate amount for the normal dosage of beneficial bacteria. So I'm going to go ahead and stir this up. Now as I say, this one here that we put the six scoops in will go in right now. And this one, I'm going to put in the shed over there. And this one will stay nice and warm and it will start to colonize in the actual cup. And then on Wednesday, I'll come back and add that. Now the normal dosage is this one here with six, six scoops. I do that every single week religiously. This is the boost part. And you don't want to put in too much at one time. What I recommend is go ahead and dose half in terms of an increase, which is the extra three scoops, and see how your pond reacts. If it stays crystal clear, like you see in this water, um, you're gonna be good to go. If it's a little bit cloudy, and it's a little bit different looking than this pond water, then you can increase your dose, but increase it very, very slowly. Nothing happens good in a pond fast. You gotta take your time. In other words, it's easier to put stuff in than it is to take it out of the pond. So I've done some videos in the past about adding beneficial bacteria, and this is one of my favorite parts of doing this. And what I mean by that is we're gonna try to get all the fish over the one side of the pond and get them eating some food. And who doesn't like to watch Koi eat, right? So we're gonna go ahead and throw some food in the pond and hopefully we'll get all the fish over here eating. And as they eat, I'm gonna go on the other side of this pond, on the other side of the bridge, and I'm gonna start dosing the beneficial bacteria. Now, the beneficial bacteria, uh, in terms of the regular dosage, Plus the boost is going to do a fantastic job, guys, of breaking down this organic matter from the fish and the leaves and the pond plants. And this is going to be just a beautiful way to keep your pond crystal clear. And I will do this, like I say, for the next 30 to 45 days. And you can see the beneficial bacteria on the top surface of this pond. And we're just going to go ahead slowly add this around the pond. I'm going to go ahead and splash a little bit on my water feature. And as they're over there eating, we will go ahead and finish this up. Now eventually, the fish are all still over there. They'll come over to this side of the pond, and when they come back over to this side, I'll throw a little bit more food, and we'll continue dosing the pond with this beneficial bacteria on that side. So guys, if you love reef keeping and pond keeping like I do, hit subscribe and the notification bell. And if you like the video or you found it informational or educational in any way, give it a like. And until next time, anyone can build a pond, but it takes someone special to keep one. And that someone special is you.